looking at problem four, or problem three. Ooh. Given the following system of equations written in the form of ax equals b. So this is three different systems of equations. This a is the same for all three of them. So we have a times this x equals this b. We have a times this x equals this b. And a times this x equals this b. So it's really three systems of equations that all have the same a matrix, but different b uh, vectors. So first of all, determine the inverse a of the matrix. And so there's a couple ways we can find the inverse of a. We can use our row operations. We can do our cofactor expansion or our cofactors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use cofactors. These are small numbers, so doing the row operations might be okay. Um, it just depends on how good you are doing row operations, um, making sure you're being careful and following all of your values. Um, the hardest thing um, with doing row operations, especially when you have A next to identity, is you have so many numbers to keep track of, and a lot of those numbers are zero. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the cofactors because the row operations are shown in the solutions. So all of my cofactors, C11, plus room of row. So this here would be negative two. There we go, I already found a number. C12, this determinant, minus one, zero, zero, negative two. So negative two turn positive. C13, plus one, zero, one, one, is equal one. C21, minus uh, 2, 1, 1, negative 2. So I have negative 4 minus 1. So negative 5 turned positive from this out front. C2, 2 is positive. Uh, 2, 0, 1, negative 2 is equal to negative 4. C2, 3, negative 2, 0, 2, 1. That's 2 turned negative. C3, 1 is positive two one one zero so that's negative one c three two is negative uh, da, 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 two one one zero which is uh the negative one turn positive and c three three is positive two one two one and that's zero because they're the same two columns same two rows um so determine our properties if two columns or two rows are identical the term is zero Okay, once I have my, oh, my cofactors, I can go ahead and find my determinant. I'm gonna use this column just for funsies. So two times negative two plus one times negative positive five uh, plus zero times negative one. So negative four plus five, my determinant equals one. Okay, just checking my solution. Well, my solution doesn't, does the row operation, so I can't even tell until I'm not done. So that means A inverse is one over the determinant of A times A adjoint. So it's one over one times these values transposed. So these become my first column, negative two, two, one. That's correct. Uh, these values become my second column, five, negative four, negative two, also correct. Oops, wrong one. And then these values become my third column, negative one, one, zero, also correct. And there we go, there is my inverse. I don't need to account for this because it's a one, so this is my inverse. Okay, step number one done. Uh, B, verify that the inverse is the inverse. So that just means A times A inverse equals identity. Um, doesn't matter which one goes first. Let me go ahead and change that. Zoom out. Okay, so I just need to multiply these two matrices together. First row, first column. I get negative four plus five plus zero. That equals one, that's what I expected. Second row, first column, uh, four minus four plus zero equals zero, what I expected. Third column, or third row, two minus two plus zero equals zero. There we go. Moving over. Column two, first row, 
uh, negative 4 plus 5 minus 1 equals 0, what I expected. Second row, 4 minus 4 plus 1 equals 1, that's what I expected. Third row, 2 minus 2 plus 0 equals 0, what I expected. Okay, so I'm on the right track, checking, make sure I know what I'm doing, or that I got the right answer. Third column, first row, negative 2 plus 0 plus 2 equals 0, what I expected. And then second row, 2 plus 0 minus 2 equals 0, what I expected. Third row, 1 uh, plus 0 plus 0 equals 1, what I expected, so therefore I get identity. What I expected. So we're good. We're all hot, fine. We're happy. Um, C. Use the inverse matrix A to determine X. X equals A inverse times B. That's true. I have three different systems here. I don't need to do it separately. I don't need to isolate my three B separately. What I need to do is still, it's just still going to be this. It just so happens B is now three different B vectors for three different systems, but I can still multiply it by all of B. So I take A inverse. Multiply it by B. Copy that down. 0, 1, negative 2. I don't know about you guys, but I keep dropping my negatives when I copy things down, so please be careful, double check everything. Same thing, matrix multiplication. Um, column 1, row 1. 0 plus 5 plus 2 equals 7. Row 2, 0 minus 4 minus 2 equals negative 6. We are, don't know what to expect here this time. Um, it's not supposed to be identity, it's supposed to be whatever. Uh, so, hopefully you do your math correct. Here it's 0 minus 2 plus 0 equals negative 2. There we go, there's my first set of x values. Moving on to column 2, my second system. Uh, column 2, row 1, uh, negative 4 minus 5 plus 0, negative 9. Um, row 2, 4 plus 4 plus 0 equals 8. And then row 3, um, 2 plus 2 plus 0 equals 4. And there we go, that's my second system that I've solved for. And then my third system, my third column here. I'm going to do that below. Uh, 6 plus 0 minus 1 um, is 5. Row 2, negative 6 plus 0 plus 1, negative 5. And then row 3, negative 3 plus 0 plus 0, negative 3. So there we go. My solution here, x equals, it's not x inverse, it's just x. 7, negative 6, negative 2, negative 9, 8, 4, 5, negative 5, negative 3. And I have solved all of my systems. I can go ahead and verify that by saying AX equals B. Um, I, if I have extra time, I don't have to, but I can verify it by doing that matrix multiplication, so another set of matrix multiplications. But we can see here it's just three systems of equations that all have the same A matrix. Um, finding the inverse, same thing, B, no matter how big it is, as long as it has the right number of rows, we can still do the matrix multiplication. Or the right number, yeah, the right number of rows, we can still do the matrix multiplication.